to lead Jack forward. Thank you very much, Alaska Hirlick, like, and thank you very much, Minister. I suppose. Uh, after that contribution, I don't know, I may just throw it, throw it all away um, and say thank you very much. Um, it's great to have a Minister coming into the House who is so open to um, to improvement, to, to, to improving the lives of the children of, of our nation. Um, and, you know, I, I, I suppose we, know, we have all agreed here in the House that newborn screening is one of the most important screenings we can do in this country. And I think of, um, of people that I know who, because they were born in Uri, they got um, screened for a CF, cystic fibrosis. This is before 2011. And their lives have completely were completely improved and their quality of life was improved because they got the heel prick test, because it was normal in the north and it was in the south until 2011. So think of all the children before 2011 who weren't screened for CF and now they are. So that is a life changing, life expectancy change and a pure quality of life. So I really welcome, I really welcome the, your, your commitment to expansion of the, of the screening programme. And, I would just, you know, like really welcome the fact that you are going to update, update the house in six months' time. And I would ask that you get your officials to look at the situation in Italy and, and the potential savings that the HSE could make by implementing a similar testing model um, as Italy to here. And as you know, it's not just about the finances and it's not just about the cost-benefit analysis of putting resources here or there. It's about babies' lives. It's about their life expectancy, about their quality of life. It's about looking after families, families, babies. Families and babies deserve this, the best start they, we can possibly give them. And I very much welcome that you have prioritised the review for the National uh, Newborn Blood Spot Screening, screening Programme. It's very difficult to say. And, um, and I really welcome that you said that it will be in expansion with line with um, international best practice. And I also, um, I just want to ask uh, just a brief, brief question. And would it be uh, possible to, to update us on how, how when you do decide to bring one condition and screen tests, what are, what's, the, what's the basis? Or what's the, you know, what the grounds for a, the board deciding to recommend one particular addition? If, if one, why not another? So we have eight now, and why not? Why not? And um, what's the, the, the cost-benefit analysis of the, of the reasoning for these things? And I also ask on a separate issue, and it's prioritisation of development development checks for children. Um, we really, they're just as important as screening. We have screening for our development checks, and you know we have the six months, the eighteen months, the you know the, the three years, and it's about hearing, it's about you know your the clicky hips, it's really important stuff, and that all my kids were lucky enough to go through it at, at, at timely interval, intervals. Things were checked, things were double checked the, at these times, and you know if there was problems, they would have been picked up. So I remind me saying you're straying into Senator O'Loughlin's time now. Oh, my apologies. I thought yeah. it was yeah. my apologies. Um, um, so I just want to yeah, well, ask the minister to actually to, to be very accurate, but you have 30 seconds <laughs> without straying. <laughs> No, I just want to um, ask the Minister to prioritise the de childhood development checks um, and I really appreciate your time and your effort and your, and your candour to the, to the, the challenge today. Thank you.